Hello and welcome to our tutorial. So this is going to be a quick one. We're going to try and do some projection painting. So at the moment our model looks, well, looks purple because I don't have the right image in. So I'll load this in here. So this is the you know, reference image that we used. So what we want to do is we want to use the reference image to paint the entire head. And so I'm going to show you how to do that now. It's called projection painting. So go back to solid mode. So uh, how we do that is we set up uh, multiple um, UV layers. So uh, we have to unwrap the model several times. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. So uh, this is my model here. If I go into front view. I'm gonna go into edit mode, and uh, I'm gonna unwrap it. But before I do that, you can see I still have my mirror modifier applied. So I'll go to the modifier stack, apply the mirror modifier, and then edit mode, select all, change this to my UV image editor and then over here I'm going to go U project from view. So now I've got um, all of this geometry projected from the front uh, and we've done that before. I'm going to load in my reference image and then I'm going to position this um, on top of the front view. Okay, and the positioning is important because if it's um, positioned incorrectly, then when we try and basically copy from one layer or one UV map to another, it won't work. Uh, I'm not interested in the ears or the side of this at all. It's just the middle face uh, section that I'm interested in. So I'm going to scale this on X and using G to position it, scale a little bit wider on X and that's not too bad. The mouth isn't quite in the right place. So I'm going to hit A to deselect and C, which is the circle select tool. And select the mouth, and I'm going to move this. Before I move it, I want to put on the proportional editing tool. So I'm going to go G, and now everything is moving, and that's because our or my area of influence for proportional editing is too big. So I'm just going to move this geometry over the mouth a little bit more. I'll leave it like that. So this is. Um, projected and it's onto a UV map which is a nondescript name so I'm going to call this front. So now I'm going to create a second layer and in that layer I'm going to project onto the side so let's rename that side. Okay and we're going to look at the side of this and go U project from view. So now we have um, our character projected from the side and I'm just going to get G and position this. And again, what we're interested in here is positioning this relative to the side of the head. So if this front area is incorrect, that's okay because we'll be referencing that from the front layer. So all we're interested here is that basically this picture aligns with the geometry of the ear and the rest of the head uh, in terms of the side of it. So the thing that's the ear is correct there, but what's wrong is the back here. So I'm going to go A to deselect. C, so circle select tool, and then G, and move this in, so that we're not getting the white of the uh, surrounding image. Um, so that's fine. So that's we've got two UV maps, and we're going to make a third, and we're going to call this simply face. And this is going to be everything, both front and back, and this is going to be the the layer effectively that we're going to draw onto. So. How do we make that one? Well, this is our model, and we want to unwrap or uh, convert this 3D surface into a 2D surface. So I'm going to make a loop select with the Alt key, and if I were to unwrap this now as a seam, it would cut it in two, which is not what we want. We want it to be spread out 2D. So I'm going to press C again for circle select and deselect the face and bring it all the way up to the hairline so we can hide the seam. You know, Control E, mark seam. Now again we've done this in class before, we've marked seams. So I'm going to select it all and go U, unwrap. And what we get is this uh, amazingly ugly unwrap here. Um, now I'm going to hit uh, plus to add a new image into it and call it face. And we're just going to make a simple black background that we're going to draw onto. I'm going to make it 248 
um, by 248 so that we have enough detail and hit OK. So now this is our background. Now there's only one small problem with this which is that if we look at the uh, size of the faces uh, for the ear they are very small so there'll be very little detail in them. So there's a, a nice function in Blender you can press Control N sorry Control V apologies and it will um, try and balance all of the verts so that they're all the same size. So Control V and when you're happy with the size of them you press the enter key so this very ugly looking um, 2D representation of the face is what we're going to draw on top of um, and basically clone uh, clone brush uh, like you would in Photoshop from the other two layers onto this black image here so let's do that um, so let's go to a different mode called texture paint and we want to display not this reference image but we want to display this black image that we're drawing onto so we can see what we're drawing as we draw it um, I can leave this as my UV image editor and bring it here so we can actually watch it draw as we draw onto it okay so now let's see what tools we need so we're nearly finished we're going to we don't want to draw, we want to clone. So these are the different brushes available to me. So I'm going to clone. Um, and what do I want to clone? Well, I'm going to turn this on and I want to clone from the face. But before I do that, I'm going to go here to slots and tell it what to draw onto. And um, I want to draw onto an image, this black image down here. So I need to tell it what my the image is and also what the UV map is. So this black image is on the UV map called face. So we need to set that up correctly here. We have to tell it we want to draw onto an image. The image is called face and its UV coordinates are this here face. Now we go back to tools. It's asking us what is the source of our drawing? And we were using a reference image, this one here, called dot zero zero one. So we're going to draw from that image and initially we'll draw from the front and then we'll move to the side in a second. So let's start with the front. Press F to set the size of your brush and then this is the strength of the brush so I'll set it up to maximum to begin with. And I can draw across the front of the 3D model and what it will do, you can see over here, it's cloning, it's like a clone brush tool in Photoshop, it's cloning from one layer of the UV map onto the other. giving us quite a disturbing um, result. Okay, So this should be accurate uh, when drawing from the front because that's how we've set it up. But if I draw using this front reference image over the ear you'll see that um, so I start to get streaking here because um, the image was aligned for the front and not for the side. There's no um, detail at the side. So let's now shift to the side and then as we start drawing here we're starting to use the reference image from the side so you're basically cloning using the clone stamp tool in 3d now what we ideally would have would be not two images two reference images but um, about 10 we would have images from not only the front and the side but from above from below um, from the back so that what we don't get is this sort of um, uh, uh, <clears throat> this effect where the you know where we don't have enough detail, so we're trying to take a photograph of the side of the head and paint it onto the top of the head, and we get very undesirable results. Now this image, when it's finished, we'll have to bring it to Photoshop and tidy up. Um, so, for example, this is one thing it doesn't do well um, because we have um, unwrapped this with um, from the side if there is overlapping geometry like we have here so the ear is in front of the head we've basically got a double ear but when we go into Photoshop we can um, fix that so for now we're just sort of trying to make a basic uh, template or a basic sort of um, uh, image to start on when we get into Photoshop 
and um, we can spend quite a long time I'll show you in a moment what we should do but we won't have time for it in this tutorial this is just to look at technique um, what we should do is um, so reduce um, so I'm going to draw down the side here so you can see basically from the two photographs and this is a good example of it here the front photograph the skin tone is sort of orange and from the side photograph of the same person in the same location there was a slightly different white balance in the, in the photo where the photo is being altered and you know the skin tone is completely different so what we need to do now is uh, alter the strength of the brush and try and blend them together so we're still drawing from the side um, but we need to sort of blend this area together so we can't see the kind of dramatic shift in color from um, one image into the next and as you can imagine we could spend quite a bit of time subtly sort of blending the front and side images together so that we didn't get um, basically a very visible scene from one image to the other uh, if I go back to front here so we need to use the front for the top of the head um, but with the time that we have here so we are 11 minutes in I said this would be meant to be a quick tutorial um, so one vital piece of information to give you about using this technique is that this image here in blender is not automatically saved so as grotesque as it is um, so there is a star here beside the word image to indicate that that image has not been saved so if I go file save I save my blend file and then I exit when I come back the next time I'll have a pure black image this will not have been saved so make sure when you do this you save the image so save um, whatever we're gonna call it face.png and now that asterisk that star has disappeared to say that this image is now saved on my hard drive so when I reopen blender all of this work that we've done will still be here okay so um, while this is not finished and far 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 from perfect hopefully what you can see in this tutorial is the technique so we've unwrapped the mesh um, three times and uh, once from the front, once from the side, and once um, a generic unwrap so that we can paint uh, from the two reference images onto this background image here. So that's it for now. Oop. Haha. I say that's it for now. One last thing. So you can see here I've jumped into rendered mode and it has gone. Um, yeah, an undesirable result and that's because in this image texture here in our uh, cycles render we've told it what image to use face but we haven't told it which UV uh, layer to use so we'll just add that in now so we'll say input UV map and connect from here to here and then we select which UV map so it's face and now it will be positioned correctly in uh, our render so it knows which UV coordinates to use for this image okay so we'll go file save and leave it at that